So he's going to lay it down. So the boxer putting the left and the right on the man right there. And LaRon Washington extending his chip lead. And let me tell you right now, LaRon Washington looks like Muhammad Ali in his prime at this final table. <laughs> and right now, Kara Scott standing by. For the poker players, it can be great to have support in the stands, but for the people doing the rail, it's got to be terrifying. I've got Laurent's wife here, Marjan. Now, how are you holding up? I'm doing good. I get nervous. My stomach's turning every time he goes all in. Or Because he could go all the way here. What would that mean to have a WPT title? It would mean everything to him. It really would. He's worked very hard. He's played a whole lot, and his game has gotten really, really good, and it would mean a lot to him to win the title. I imagine it would. And to come from a $20 satellite to win his seat for $20, to win a hundred grand, that would, you must be so proud, even just at the chance. Very proud. Yeah. Very proud. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'll let you get back. I know you want to watch. Thank you so much. Possible dream come true for this family. Oh, boy, the wife already planning the shopping trip. All right, back to this hand. Trishel is folded. Now, Sean Urban has ace-five offsuit in a small blind. He's going to raise it here. Makes it 325000 to go. And LeRon Washington with a pair of kings here. I'm all in. Sean does not like hearing that. And LeRon's gone all in over the top. Yep, he puts the pressure on with the kings. Well, he is not sparring with this guy anymore. He is going for the knockout blows, Vince. Twice he's gone all in over the top of this guy in the three-handed game. Both times, he's taken down the pot. And he certainly had the cards to do it there, no doubt about it. Aggressive play by the boxer. Three players remain at the Commerce Casino. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Back in the World Poker Tour at the Commerce Casino where three players remain. This has been an absolute slugfest. Very interesting. Well, oh, Vince, very impressive poker by LaRon Washington so far. Every time he's played a big pot, he seemed to take it down. That's the way you want to play poker. Just like you want to box, you want to hit and not get hit. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Title up for grabs. Let's go back down to the money pit and see what happens next. If I can deliver the final knockout blow, you'll see a lot more than that. Happy go lucky. LaRon Washington out in front with 6.7 million chips. Got to work my way up to that point, though. He has taken over this field. Action on Sean Urban to act first. Quickly folds his hand. Shell standing in my way. And now LaRon with a queen seven. Hey. Sean, over, Sean over here. Just calls it. Trishel with a jack six. He's happy to see the flop. Here we go. Let's come ace, seven, deuce. LaRon out in front with the two sevens. He Check. checks them. She checks right behind him. There's a couple of Trishel's friends that you'll recognize. Five of clubs on the turn. Helps neither player, but LaRon's coming out to swing away. 400. Yeah, he says 400,000, and Trishel quickly goes out. Quick mark by Trishel. LaRon picks up another pot. Right now, Kara Scott standing by with Nick Gonzalez. This is a situation that Nicholas Gonzalez knows very well, this final table. You were here last year. You want to make a deal, friend? Yeah, I'll make a deal with you. I'll take first and you take second. What are your emotions when you're sitting at that final table? Talk me through how it felt for you actually sitting there. Good luck, man. You know, for me, it was exhilarating. I played with Freddie. You know, it's just the kind of you're hoping the poker gods are with you. So I felt really comfortable. I had a lot of friends supporting me like Trishel has today. Sometimes people don't quite give the woman at the table the same respect in terms of, you know, poker knowledge that they might give to some of the guys with the sunglasses on. So is she ready to use that? I think she's always used it. And I think when you look like that, a lot of people don't give you a lot of credit for a lot of things. And, you know, other than that, so I think she's she's very intelligent. She's a very good player. And um, I think it's all going to work in her favor. Well spoken there by last year's runner up, Nick Gonzalez. To the hand we go, LaRon Washington this time, our chip leader with ace three and the button. I raise. He's going to raise. Four hundred thousand total. Four hundred thousand to go. Into the reality star, Trishel Canatella. She's got a pretty good King Jack here. Oh, she's got Kojak. She also has a perception of being a very solid tight player. How much do you have? About one point three, maybe. Well, she is reaching for chips, Vince. I'm all in. 
Oh, well, she announces she's all in. Instead of raising a marginal amount, she just shipped it all out there. Going to put the pressure on the boxer here. Sean out. Got him back in the corner, Vince. The question is, will she pummel him or she get knocked out? Gisele hasn't played too many hands. I call her perception being very tight, but he's made a terrific call. Oh, what a read by this guy. Most people would lay that hand down for another 1.35 million. Yeah. But Laron opted to make the call with the ace high. It's the best hand as the cards lie. He's not quite a three to two favorite, but is a substantial favorite to win this pot and eliminate her from this tournament. The boxer up on his feet. Here comes the flop. Can Trishel get Oh, King running the flop. That's beautiful for her. Well, she shoots her arms up in victory, but she knows it's not over at all. He could catch two hearts to make a flush, two cards to make a straight, or an ace. But so far, so good for our celeb. Well, the queen of hearts comes off. Give me a heart. Throw a heart out there. What that means is Laron can now catch a heart as well as an ace to win this pot and eliminate her from this tournament. Can Canatella cast this one out? She's got to sweat one more card. Uh, she's biting her lip right now, Vance. Praying for no heart and no ace. A 10 comes on the river. Trishel has done it. She has doubled up. Well, Vince, she bided her time and bided her time and finally just couldn't take it anymore. She goes all in with the King Jack. Got lucky, outflopped her opponent, and she has doubled up. Lady Luck getting lucky right there. Three players remain. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Well done. about this event is that we get the big poker people here as well. What do you love about playing here? Um, I just love all the celebrities that show up. Uh, I got to play uh, about four hours against Jerry Buss. Trying to snaggle some Laker tickets. Maybe, maybe he got the message, maybe he didn't. Uh, if he didn't, maybe he'll get it now. I don't know. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. The WPT Invitational continues. We have three-handed poker. It's been very dramatic so far. Well, Vince, exciting action just a moment ago as Trishel Canatella doubles up to get right back in the thick of things. Could she be the second woman to ever capture a WPT title? Well, you see right there, WPT Invitational Season 6. Men the Masters' wife, Van Wynn, taking home a title. Let's get back to the table. And Ron Washington still our chip leader, but... Rochelle Canatella made a big dent in that lead by capturing that last pot to go to 3.6 million in third place. Sean Urban right now, the former naval officer, has got to step it up here. Yep, and he looks down at a pair of sixes. Well, any pair is a pretty good hand in the shorthanded poker game. Let's see what he does here with the sixes. And he's going to raise it. It's like 250,000 to go. Our chip leader, Laron. Going to lay down his queen three. And now Trishel Canatella. Who has an ace eight. Here he is. Well, she is going to raise it, Vince. Another 250,000. She doubles the bet. Five. That's always a very scary thing. You always think a player has a super strong hand if they just double it, like they want your action. It's always a dangerous move. Well, Vince, you might not like it in Sean's seat here, but I think as a poker player, you need to realize that in holding poker, you only pick up a pair on average once every 17 deals. So chances are that your opponent in this case would have two over cards and not an over pair. Yeah, but you're playing against the tightest player at the table. Look at the perception of Trishel Canatella. Well, you just saw her move all in with the King Jack a minute ago. And I think Sean has got to go with this hand with his chip count. But he's opting to lay it down. That's pretty amazing. So Trishel moving in the right direction here, continuing to gather chips. Give her credit. She is... Starting to step up the pace as we get shorthanded here, Vince. You have to become more aggressive and play a wider variety of hands. Trishel doing just that. But now she's picked up two ladies. Wow. Unbelievable pair of queens. What a hand to get at this time. Well, she just moved all in a minute ago with King Jack. Then she made a move with an ace-eight offsuit mm -hmm. by re-raising again. And here she's got a real pair of queens, Vince. 
But because she's done so much raising, she's liable to get action. Let's see if she does. Well, she's going to bet 300000 Sean Urban quickly folding. And Laurent now with a 6-7. Well, she's got 120000 invested. 540000 in the pot. Cost him another 180 to make the call. He likes the odds he's getting. He makes the call. Flop comes 8-7-5. So Laurent has got a pair and an open in straight draw, and he checks. She's making the continuation bet with the over pair. You can't blame her for that. Well, she stuck out a half a million. Be surprised if Laurent doesn't make a move here. And no, not a raise, but a definite call. Open-ended with a pair. This has the makings of a huge pot. Now the board pairs fives. This puts her in really good shape. She now has queens and fives up against sevens and fives. All in. Wow, he is checking. She's got all in. Nice move. If you're going to suck out on me, pay me off now. Oh, man, she's bet 3.1 million here. I don't see how you can call an all-in bet for that. I call. Well, he is called. Oh, wow. Oh, and he's hating it right there. Trichelle in great shape to double up and win the biggest pot of the tournament so far and take the chip lead if the two queens can hold up. What action she has gotten here. Well, that's all she's got to dodge is a four, a nine, or a seven. Coming to the river. Here we go. Oh, wow. Heartbreak for the lady right there. Leron Washington striking lightning on the river. He makes an eight eye straight to win this pot and eliminate Trishel Canatella from this tournament. Wow. Unbelievable. Vince, that was a left hook out of nowhere by the boxer right there. The lady goes down and she is out. Ah, oh boy, by far the worst beat of the night. Absolute devastation here. Just like that, Trishel out of this event. We are down to two players. Heads up action about to begin. Holy smoke. I'm really just happy that I made it this far. And, um, you know, I think that I made some good plays and um, made a few mistakes. But overall, I think I played really well. And, you know, what are you going to do? It's like I just wanted to come here, have a good time, and that's what I did. I'm happy with third. I did well. I'm really proud of myself. I wouldn't have changed anything that just happened. It's a WPT final table, first of all, and that's always going to be on your record. And I know that, uh, you know, it's important to be taken seriously as well. You want to you play poker. This is what you want to do. So you must be pretty proud of yourself. I am. I'm just so excited. Well, we're down to heads up play. And on the World Poker Tour, you know what that means? Show us the money! Oh, oh, oh. This, this is about to be a dream come true for one of these two guys. Both die-hard poker players that want to catch their WPT title. That opportunity is at their fingertips right now. That is right. It's the Navy man on the short stack up against the professional boxer. Stay tuned. We're coming right back for more on the World Poker Tour. I know that you're used to being aggressive and you're used to being, you know, on your front foot and going forward. So you're going to take that into this heads up here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm throwing straight punches, you know. I'm setting him up with the jab and come with the left cross and hopefully knock him out. This will be a lot of fun, though, and this has been a great experience for me, and uh, Laurent has been crushing the table, so uh, I know I have to get lucky a few times. So here we go. Heads up play about to begin. And as we start out, Laurent Washington with a huge chip advantage. He's got 92% of the chips. And this man put up $20 and beat out a field of 2,400 players. And here he is living his dream of capturing a WPT title and that $100,000 first place prize. He's got the button. He's got a 4-3. And he's going to limp in. Yep, he makes the call on the button. There's Sean with a jack-10. Look at this, Vance. Sean Urban moving right all in here with a jack-10 of spade. Yeah, he's going to play aggressive. And this is a $725,000 re-raise here. I call. He's called. And he's been called. Unbelievable. What a gamble by the boxer here. Certainly is. Giving him quick action. Everything's going right. So many 